Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. I got another epic thrift run to show you. A lot of uncommon nerf and some uh, vintage video games. So that's cool. And uh, we'll take a look at a few sales. Let's take a look at what I got. All right, welcome into my channel. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. I do... Uh, thrifting to uh, sell on eBay and uh, do a lot of collecting and stuff too, as you can see in the background. And I like to focus in on toys. I found that uh, toys are some profitable stuff you can find at thrift stores and, and yard and garage sales uh, can make you a profit. And then you'll find, if you're interested in toys, you'll find stuff for your collection as well. And it's just fun to deal with, in my opinion. All right, so let's get into it. Today was uh, somebody donated a uh, of nerf jackpot today uh, I didn't even get everything uh, but I got quite a bit uh, all I just kept picking up uncommon blaster after uncommon blaster so all right let me kick it off with my stuff for my collection I found some cool stuff today uh, well first off for my blue gray collection uh, I decided to pick up uh, Warcraft haven't seen that one but uh, I know it's based on a video game but it just looks pretty uh, fantasy epic so it was only $2.99 so add that to my blu-ray collection and then they did have a stack of vintage NES games there um, the best title that was left over there was like Super Mario 2 for but it, they wanted $7.99 for it and it was really really bad condition uh, so I just picked up some common titles because you know I sold my Nintendo my vintage Nintendo collection off uh, uh, you know last year uh, so I'll if I see them in the thrift store, I'll pick them up, titles that I don't have and everything. And I've got a pretty big box of Nintendo games i got to clean up and uh, keep for my collection as well. But I picked up three titles today. We found uh, nothing crazy, but uh, we got Fester's Quest. It was in decent condition, $5.99 with the Nintendo sleeve. That's good. And then we got uh, WWF WrestleMania, $5.99 with a sleeve not bad and then here's one I'm very fond of from as a kid played it a lot Captain Skyhawk $4.99 with a Nintendo sleeve one thing I used to do was uh, sell the, the actual Nintendo branded sleeves to recoup some of my money and then just keep the regular black sleeves for my collection uh, you can take all the Nintendo branded sleeves and uh, sell them for pretty decent cash but uh, it's always nice to see vintage Nintendo in the thrift store. Uh, so three titles to start up my collection again. Okay, pretty much everything else I picked up today was Nerf. Um, oh, I have these. They are Nerf, but... They had a lot of these bags today. The uh, Nerf Tiger laser tags. So there was three or four bags I got. One's, they're all $7.99. So one with two blasters in it. Another one with two blasters in it. And one more with two blasters in it. And then one more final bag has not only the two blasters, but it has the shotgun attachments in it and the uh, sight attachments. So this would be actually a pretty valuable bag. Uh, I actually have a whole bin over here of these Tiger Nerf laser tag blasters I need to go through and start making some sales on. These used to be pretty hot. Uh, but with the shotgun attachment and the sight, they're, they're definitely good. Um, I'll probably put together a set complete with the, they work good with the shotgun and the sights, sell that as a set, and then I'll take the remaining blasters. I just want to get rid of them. Uh, make, a, make money, but uh, if you put them in bulk, they should sell for pretty, pretty decent. In case you haven't seen that, that's what these things look like. They're Tiger Nerf laser tag. Um... They have a battery compartment here. It can get corroded quite often, but uh, and then there's one thing to check is the, the reloading mechanism. You want to make sure that ejects properly. Sometimes they get jammed up, and I, in my opinion, just don't bother with that one if it doesn't work. So yeah, that's going to be my priority is getting getting the Tiger Nerf laser tag for sale. I probably have over 10, 15 of those blasters that I need to figure out how I'm going to sell them. Okay, here's the least single least interesting blaster I picked up today. The, uh, just a regular disruptor, $2.99. Add to my party packs. I'm getting really close to the 10 disruptors to make a birthday party pack, and that's where I take 10 of the same kind of blaster that's easy mechanically and uh, 
to where a parent would buy it for a kid's birthday party and I add 100 darts and make a party pack is what I do. So another one to go towards that. Okay, yeah, now pretty much everything else is some uncommons. Uh, starting, we'll, we'll start with these. I picked up these two Fortnite blasters today because they were purple. Uh, and this one had a Fortnite magazine and everything. They are kind of expensive, $4.99 a piece. But I looked up this one, it looks like this one sells for pretty decent cash. And so I think this one does too. Uh, I think I may have a few more Fortnite blasters laying around, but I'm gonna put these together and see what I can do. And I like that these were smaller Fortnite blasters. And this reminds me, maybe it's like the equivalent of a Strife or something. Hopefully people really want this one. This magazine's kind of neat, it's got a grip. It's pretty cool. So don't know if the purple color is like a, a special color or anything, but uh, I just decided to go after them. Uh, here's another bag. Uh, it was only $4.99 though. Uh, it's pretty good because it's got a nice variety in here. I'll pull it up out real quick. It's got two old Vortex uh, Protons. Uh, I think I have a few more Vortex Blasters. Vortex are the ones that shoot the discs. These are getting like, I'm not seeing these hardly very much anymore. So uh, I think I may have a few laying around to make a lot again. Uh, I don't know how well people buy these anymore, to be honest with you. It's been a minute since I've sold with some Vortex. And then also in there was a Doom Lens Persuader. Doom Lens is like a, uh, you know, it reminds me of uh, like a Mad Max kind of apocalyptic theme blaster set. So we got the uh, Persuader and I'm glad to pick that one up because I have a few more doom lands I need to put together and make a lot so this will be a nice addition to that if you haven't figured it out I usually try to take nerf guns and put them in lots and that way you make uh, a better sale in my opinion because you have to consider the fact of you know if you were to sell these individually uh, you will sell them but the shipping you have to worry about the cost of shipping so by lotting them up, you can get a better rate for shipping and make a bigger sale. Then finally, we got a Nerf Star Wars blaster. Um, usually the Nerf Star Wars blasters do really well. I, I think this might be a Poe Dameron. I can't remember for sure, but uh, it was in the bag too. All right, uh, speaking of the Doomlands, uh, there was one loose Doomlands I picked up for $4.99. I don't remember ever seeing this one before, the Negotiator. It's kind of neat, kind of a bigger version of the Persuader, sort of. Um, but with the revolver style barrel uh, cylinder there. So yeah, have a nice little bit of Doomlands to start lotting together. Because I think I have another Lawbringer or something down here too that I need to add to it. And here was a cool pickup. It was the Nerf, uh, I think this is called the no, not the Rapid Red, that's a different one. I forgot, but Nerf Rebel is pretty nice. Uh, nice stuff, people are looking for it. And this one even has its little sight on it. So, and I don't know if this charm actually went with it, but it definitely goes nicely with it. <laughs> uh, people like the Rebel Blasters because they actually, even though they have this feminine style to them, they actually, uh, I think they actually uh, shoot really good and stuff. Uh, so. People that play Nerf really want this stuff. I think this is the, the site that goes with it. But anyways, for $3.99, that's a good pickup. All right, the mini hits just keep coming. I got a couple bows today, $3.99. I got the Mega Lightning Bow. Uh, I recall that being an easy $30 sale, usually $3.99. Uh, so that's a Mega one that shoots the big darts, but uh, I usually sell this one by itself. You can put it in a uh, priority mail, uh, you know, the, the thin mailing boxes and ship it. And then another bow, the Strata bow. This is like actually like a $30 bow as well, $3.99. Uh, it has to have this, it's magazine though. So this one has its magazine. So just the uncommon blasters were in there today. And speaking of that, I don't know if this is uncommon because this is a more of a new blaster, but it's one I haven't picked up before, the Ultra One. This is the new Ultra style. Cylinder spinning. Now this takes a different style of dart, I'm pretty sure, which I don't have, but uh, at least it's spinning already for me, so I know that. 
I have a few other Ultra Blasters that I've yet to sell. I might redo my lot and add this to it and see if I can go ahead and get some Ultras sold. I believe I've, so I've sold the smaller Ultras pistols so far, but I think I have some of the Ultra... They're like the pump action uh, Tommy gun looking. They look like this, but like a pump action one. Uh, they've been sitting for a while and haven't sold. So maybe I'll add this to it and redo the lot and see if I can make a bigger, bigger lot, bigger sale. All right, we're not done yet. Uh, this one was kind of sun faded, but it's the Sledge Fire 399. This is an easy 30, $35 sale all day. Uh, maybe not in this condition. It might, we'll say 30 bucks, but it at least has its one shell. Uh, that always makes it good. Uh, this is a really good one. Um, it just sells easy. People are always looking for this one for whatever reason. Uh, and it's zombie strike, so I might actually just take it and make a lot this time since it's uh, kind of sun faded. It's not, maybe it's not quite as desirable individually. All right, almost to the the mega hits of the day. Well, sort of, I think they are. This one's again kind of beat up, but it was only $3.99. We got another Raven. Raven's a really good one. Uh, even if it doesn't work, it'll sell for like 30 bucks. I sold one for 30 bucks that didn't work recently. I found a random magazine and put it in there. Uh, so this is a in poor condition, probably at least a $30 sale. But if it's in nicer condition, or if you find the blue one, the blue one's worth even more money. Um, but this this is more of a common color, the, the neon green color. Uh, good condition, it's like 40 to 50. Uh, so I'm going to say it's like 30 to 35, something like that. All right. I'll say runner up because I don't know if it works or anything, but I've got this Nerf Terra Scout. This is a drone that's supposed to have a remote that goes with it. Uh, this was 10 bucks. Uh, nothing of the, the stuff that goes with it. Uh, I'll have to open and see if it has its rechargeable battery, but I don't know if the battery even works. But for 10 bucks, I'll see if I can sell this for 60, 70 uh, as untested. So if this, if you did have this thing with like the remote and the power supply and everything, I think this would, and I think maybe it's probably, probably should have a drum magazine that goes with it. Uh, this is like a couple hundred dollars or probably more. Uh, Nerf Terra Scout. First time I've came across that one. Or actually, I think I came across it one other time, but the, the people selling it wanted a lot, of, a lot of money for it. So that's the first time I've, it was able to pick it up at a thrift store, you know, discount price. All right, then last but not least, uh, we got this guy. First time I picked this guy up as well. The Nerf uh, Elite Titan CS50. Straight up Gatlin gun, Terminator 2 Gatlin gun style. Um, this is another one. This was 10 bucks too. There was actually two of these and there was a kid that came in and he wanted to get some stuff. So we were actually, I was like, give me, that's mine. I was like in a tug of war with him. No, actually that didn't happen. I stepped aside and let him go pick what he wanted. And uh, he ended up grabbing one of the, the second one of these. This thing, I, I see it sold without, it, it's supposed to have a special drum magazine. I mean, it'll work with any magazine, but it does come with like a dual drum magazine. If you have that, this is like a 250 plus blaster on eBay. Uh, but without that, I see it sell for like 80 to 100, something like that. So I'll test it out and it'd be a monster to ship, but uh, who cares? Seems like a pretty good pickup. All right, here's some more decent sales. Uh, here's a vintage hermetic glass jar got that from a yard sale uh i think for a dollar 25.43 total paid by the customer for that one and uh, uh one of the ratchet and clank games that i picked up sold uh that one the collection ratchet and clank collection 45.72 total paid by the customer and uh that r2d2 little cooler for uh, uh that i got in a star wars goodwill lot uh 1941 total paid by the customer have some random lego castle pieces here with a couple weapons a spear and a samurai sword those little pieces there are sold for 1068 total paid by the customer um these two little gundam figures right here i got from a toy lot those two figures right there 1560 total paid by the customer uh this is something i bought from a uh, 
Oh, a discount store. It's a Overwatch plush. Ganymede plush. Uh, that sold for $15.80 total pay by the customer. This uh, Thor 12 inch figure that I got in a toy lot, threw it up and it sold for $12.77 total pay by the customer. And then, uh, ah yes, the Vintage Man at Arms, uh, $15.66 total pay by the customer. Uh, and then the two Fisher Price vehicles from the 70s, the Jeep and the plane, those sold for uh, $27.21 total pay by the customer. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, what do you think of my pickups, uh, my sales? Hope you like that. Please come around for the next one. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one.